Hi, my name is Chris Myers Ash with the Capital Area New Mainers Project in Augusta. I'm here to help you learn how to create a simple resume so that you can apply for a job online. In this presentation, we will create a resume using the website indeed.com. Indeed is a popular online platform that can you can use to find a job. One of the great things about Indeed is that you can use it to help you create a resume. A resume is a one-page summary that tells employers about your work experience. Having a good, easy to read resume can be very helpful when you're applying for a job. The first thing that we will do is go to Indeed's Resume Builder. You can either go directly to the address www.indeed.com forward slash create dash resume, or you can simply Google the words Indeed Resume Builder. I will share my screen so that we can do this together. So here we are on Google and I will Google Indeed Resume Builder. There it is at the very top. This is the Resume Builder page. Click on the blue button that reads, build your free resume. Now we get to select the template for our resume. A template sets the style for the resume. Indeed offers eight different styles of resumes for you to choose from. Let's go with a simple one. Click on the, the blue button to, se to select your template. Now you will see your blank resume template. Each of the highlighted areas is something for you to fill in. We will do a resume together for a person named Abdul Nasir. I will type in his name, address, phone number, and email address. This information is important for your employer to know so that they know how to contact you about a job. Each time you want to enter information, just double click on the highlighted area. For example, I will double click on the word name and then type in the name. That's here. Press save and do the same thing for location. One, two, three, Main Street, Augusta, Maine, 04330. We'll make up a phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll make up an email address, greatabdul at gmail.com. I'll press save. Now, after you've done the contact information, click on the word summary. In this area, you want to explain why you are doing the resume. This does not have to be very long. It just needs to explain to the employer why you are applying for a job. In this example, I will type, I am a hard working Iraqi immigrant who seeks part-time employment in any capacity. I am a married father of three, and I am willing to do all kinds of work. Press save. And now we can move on to work experience. If you are working now, you should list your current job. If you are not working now, you should list the most recent job you had before. Click on position, and then type the position that you had, the job title that you had. So let's say you were a short order cook at a restaurant, and you currently work there. So you click on I currently work here, and your start date for a month Let's say you started a couple of years ago. So we'll say January 2018. 
And this was at uh, Joe's Diner in Augusta, Maine. In the description, you explain what you did there. I cooked all kinds of meals for customers. Something simple just to explain what it is that you did there. Press save. And now you can see you have your work experience. Now, let's say you had a job before you were a short order cook at Joe's Diner. Click on the blue plus sign where it says add work experience. It's good to have two or three examples of your work experience. This shows your employer that you've had different jobs and different experiences in the past. So we'll click on that and the same thing pops up again. Now, let's say that you had a, a different job before. Uh, so before you were a short order cook, you were a data entry clerk. And you started in January 2016 and you stopped in December 2017. And let's say you worked for the Acme company in Portland, Maine. Again, you put in a short description. I entered data in their, the company database to keep track of our customers. And you click save. And now you have two different work experience work experiences for your employer to see. Now that we have finished with work experience, let's move on to skills. Here you should put down any skills that you think an employer would find useful in a job setting. You definitely should put down any different languages that you speak. Language is a very important skill and many employers want to know if you can speak two or three or four languages. Other skills might include word processing or mechanical skills or culinary expertise. You should think of skills that you do well and put those down in your skills area. Click on the blue plus sign if you need to add more skills, but we'll, we'll go ahead and add our skill. And let's say we have culinary expertise because we worked at Joe's Diner. And let's say our experience, if you've been cooking a long time, maybe it's seven years. Press save and we'll click on another one. And then you can say language, Arabic, Hebrew and English, and maybe 10 plus years. Having those skills can be very important when you are applying for a job. Now that we've finished with the skills, we can add our education. You should include the highest degree that you have achieved. If you have graduated high school, put your high school down even if it's in a foreign country. If you have taken some college courses, put that down, even if you have not graduated yet. This helps the employer know what kind of education you have. So let's say we are currently a student at Kennebec Valley Community College. Currently attending, maybe you started this year, 2021. You don't have a degree yet because you're still working on it, but the degree that you're working toward, let's say it's an associate degree. 
We'll study communications. And this is in Fairfield, Maine. Now, if you're a student, it can help to, to put the highest degree that you have achieved. For example, let's click Add Education, the blue button, and we'll add the high school we went to. Let's say it's called um, Mosul High School. And we started there in, in August of 2012, and we ended there in June 2016. The degree I got was a high school degree. We don't have to put a field of study for high school, but we can put the country name where we were and press save. And now we have a full resume. Many resumes only include the sections that we have filled out, the personal information, the work experience, skills, and education. But you may want to include something else. If you want to add a section, look over here on the left-hand side. You'll see three words, template, which we already used, style, and sections. Click on the word sections you will see the different things that you could add. We have the professional summary, the work experience, skills, education. Let's add a section called additional information. Just click on the little badge to turn it blue. Now you will see on the resume that we have a new section titled additional information. One thing that could be important for an employer to know is about your references. A reference is a person who knows you and can say good things about what kind of worker you are. A reference should not be a relative or a family member. For each reference, you should include their name, title, and contact information. For our resume, we will include a reference from the Capital Area New Mainers Project. We can put reference. Chris Ash, Executive Director, Capital Area New Mainers Project. Put the contact information so that they know how to get a hold of this person. And what an employer might do is check your references. They will contact the person or the people that you have listed as a reference. They might email them or call them and say, what kind of per person is this Abdul Nasir? Is he a good worker? What, uh, what, experience does he have? And they will get more information about you. So this is a good way for, for the people that you know you or that you have worked with in the past. They can help you get a new job. So we'll put the contact information, we'll click save, and now we have a completed resume. So to finish the resume and to get a copy of it for yourself, just click in the right-hand corner up at the top, the blue button that says download resume. You click that and you can get a copy of that resume to your phone or to uh, your computer. And once you have that, you can use it when you apply for a job on indeed.com or really anywhere else. You can print out a hard copy so that you can give it to your employer if you apply in person. And you should download and keep that a copy of it ready in case someone asks you for it. Most employers will ask you for a resume of some sort. And if you have a good, clean resume, it could help you get a job. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation about how to create a resume, and I hope you find it useful 
that you'll create your own resume and you can tweak it however you like to make it your own and then use it to get the job of your choice. Thank you.